Hello and welcome to the Smurf P video and today we are looking at Captain Britain which is a reprint of an omnibus that has been long overdue um, and if I'm being honest with you I feel like this is in my opinion the, in, unless I've made a mistake the most pointless reprint of the year um, first of all this only has Captain Britain 1 to 13 volume 2 and it doesn't have the issue 14 which completes the series unless I've I've made a mistake and I'll read my words in a minute if I have made a mistake because I do make mistakes um, secondly unless I'm mistaken in what I'm reading this omnibus has been consumed in the already announced Captain Britain omnibus that includes volume one. So, well, like I said, I, I could be wrong. And to be honest with you, I'm probably going to keep this until that second omnibus comes out so I can, I guess, compare. It depends. I may get impatient and just get it gone. Um, so, I got this from Forbidden Planets. I'm not going to lie, I have never read Captain Britain in my life. Um, so, there's a synthesis there. So, I don't know if this was just meant to be Alan Davis's well-known to Captain Britain Excalibur, that world already. Um, so, I don't know if this was meant to be uh, a given for him. But this is also Panini Comics, so this doesn't feel like the normal omnibus route. It's got a British pound, so maybe this was just a British release rather than a larger release. I don't know. I mean, it just feels bizarre. I love this bit here. It's very, very nice. And I am from the UK. I am British. So um, I always like good things British. And it's quite surprising that I've read X-Men for a long time, but I haven't read Excalibur or Captain Britain, even though they, they are relations to the Newton world. And if I carefully yeah, take this off, I may have to send this back anyway. It's got like a, a dent on there. And then it's got a, a little s bit about the rise in there. So it doesn't feel like the normal omnibus route. So I I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit bemused. So this collects Marvel Super Heroes 3, 7, 7 to 3, 8, 8. The Daredevils 1 to 11. The Mighty World of Marvel 7 to 6. Captain Britain 1 to 14. Oh, maybe that's a bit wrong. I'm sure it's 14 issues. So they do complete that in here. So I thought maybe that's just a mistake on the writing. Uh, read on Forbidden Planet. Um, Captain America 305 306. The New Mutants Annual Number 2. And Uncanny X Men Annual 11. And under there, once again, looks very, very nice. Very impressive with. Very impressed with that. Let's try and get that into a range so you can kind of get a feel for having a look at the omnibus. Oh, I love that crisp, crisp sound. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, it certainly feels very different to every other omnibus that I've got. Um, I'm not sure if this is intentional. Uh, and it just kind of tells you about the issues that are in here, which is cool. It has a foreword as well, 40 years on. And then just jumps into it. So, wow, so we begin with black and white, which is interesting. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, now I understand. This is the black and white version. Clearly, should have known this. And, oh, no, no, it's not. No, it's not. We've gone into some color. <laughs> I thought I had stumbled on what it was about. So I guess those first original issues were um, in black and white. Um, okay. <laughs> like I said, I've never read uh, Captain Britain, so... I, I honestly don't know what to expect. And the reason I... I, I...
you know what? It would not be a video without me doing something crazy. And do you know what? It's because my I need to get a new stand because this one it doesn't hold my camera in fully. So if the slightest knock in, it's sometimes game over. So like I said, I've never read Captain Britain, and the reason I wanted to to actually read Captain Britain now is no, it's not because I'm British. It's uh, it's because. Um, I do have the Excalibur um, omnibuses, and I do have the New Mutant omnibuses, and there's stories about Betsy in here that lead to the New Mutant stuff, and there is also um, parts around Captain Britain. You, I perhaps will understand his character a bit better in Excalibur, if that makes sense. So, but, wow, the artwork is absolutely stunning. I'm absolutely loving this artwork. Absolutely beautiful. 80s artwork all day long for me. 80s, 70s, late 70s and 80s artwork. Some some of the great artists in, in all comic history are in there. And Alan Moore, very talented. Very talented indeed. Beautiful. Funeral and other worlds. So, like I said, I have no idea. So, it does have that whole second run of Captain Britain, which is going with said Captain America. It's bizarre that I probably read more Captain America than I have Captain Britain. And I'm interested to see how this stuff actually retails in terms of how Brits actually are. Very interesting. We obviously know that um, Chris was um, British as well. Not sure how much he writes in here either. I'm not sure at all. So I'm, I'm loving this. There's a lot of dialogue. The artwork is always interesting, fascinating. Oh, we're going back to the black and white stuff. I think I will struggle reading some of the black and white stuff a little bit more. I mean, when, when I've read Walking Dead in the past, um, yeah. I guess the stories aren't as in-depth for this. So what I loved about writing in this era was there was real storytelling. I'm not saying that there's not real storytelling now, but there was even more of this. So usually I end up reading a story without actually appreciating some of the artwork sometimes. Sometimes I've not even looked at the artwork. I'm just reading the story. Here there's the bit with... Yeah, so this is the, the crossover with, um, with Betsy. So that must have happened just before then. There we go. So that's all the stuff with Betsy, which I've, I've never read and always wanted to read. So I guess I'm, I, I certainly am really interested in seeing how much of this book, if this book is actually united with the, the first Captain Britain um, story, um, it's going to be one big omnibus, I tell you. One big omnibus. But this looks absolutely beautiful. So let's just get my camera back in place. So I'm... It was only the other day where I probably had a proper look at this. So, so I pre-ordered this. Um, thinking that this was just volume two. And then obviously I ordered the other Captain Britain omnibus. Because I believe that that was just omnibus one. But I believe now this is the reprint. And then the reprint has been added, has been given the full works of Volume 1 and 2, as well as all these other Captain Britain stories that are there. So, but, like I said, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Captain Britain is in my world, so I may just wait for that second omnibus before, before I um, make my decision on what I'm doing. But for now, happy, got Captain Britain. It's pretty nice omnibus. Thank you for Bid and Planet, although I may have to reach out to them and try and send it, ask for a replacement because there is um, a little bit of damage on there, on the dust cover. And we all know that if I'm buying new, I, I'm spending that extra money because I want a, a book to come in mint condition. Now, it was very well protected. I'm not going to lie, it was very well protected. But this dust cover... Sorry, I should bring it back now. It feels a lot, it doesn't feel as strong as some of the other dust covers I've had over the years, which um, 
makes me feel a bit strange about this omnibus. Um, so it'd be interesting to get the other omnibus because most omnibuses from Marvel they have they feel like a silk, silky kind of cover. I'm not sure if they've had to adjust due to the pandemic to get this out. I do not know. So it'd be interesting to find out. So anyway, if you like my channel, uh, please subscribe. I really appreciate that. Thank you for watching and embrace the geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.